What the fuck? Piss off. Oh, you're actually videoing me, aren't you? Oh, yeah. God, I wish I'd delivered the film. He'd like that in the film. I fucked it totally, didn't I? <laughs> Thank you so much. No, too easy. Awesome. No, thank oh. you. Oh. My mate of mine. So you know, you know the story that when we went to Russia's one day, and they said um, we might have trouble with running on empty because of the Jackson Brown song. Yeah. And they went. So can everyone just write down three or four suggestions for a title of the film? And you know, it's like trying to tell a joke. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, so they're stuck yeah. with running on empty. Yeah. Get your gear off, Cheryl. <laughs> Put it back on, Cheryl. <laughs> Get in the shaker and drive it all night long. Weekend comes, you see us fly down. Tarrant. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was Anne. It was pretty famous in the 80s. Yeah. 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 You're all too young, right? Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's all I can say. It's Deborah played pretty well the whole uh, first half in the car right now. It's like a side. And Graham was pretty funny. And Penny Hackworth Jones, who you don't really hear much about, and she's the nasty sort of voice person. And she was a pretty big classical actor at the time. Uh, so it was kind of really pissed with people. Uh, she really here for her, aren't you? And, uh, I don't know, Jack, shit that car. Tell you, will tell you everything about cars. LeBron 57. Of course, Steve Courtney built that car. It was a four-door. He turned it into a two-door. He put Recaro seats in it. He had a little lever down by the by the front seat that he could flick, and the uh, the uh, front brakes were the only ones that operated, so that the back could do his. Now, Steve used to tell me that the Bond 57 in the movie would do a second quarter mile at about half a mile. <laughs> so, I. Maybe you were speeding it up, you know what these keywords are like. Um, but yeah, those these three cars are the legend cars, and of course we've had a bit of a tragedy with Fox's car today.
sweet sensation. And it was, it was like a religious experience. Um, I talk to people all the time, even today. And even today, I still sign covers for 21st and, and such. So it's intergenerational. <laughs> She's still there in Los Angeles. She's a personal trainer, but uh, she was Cher's personal uh, makeup artist. And Cher, which you can't really notice on most photographs because Kelly's done the work on it, but she's has a fair bit of old Aki Aka sort of pock marks and shit. So they used to have to trail on a lot of foundation and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's Cher. It's not the Kelly. Makeup shotgun. <laughs> Like this sort of action, I reckon. Yeah, the big car. Fucking car stop, enthusiasts. Stop, stop. Apply that. Cut it compound. It's cool, man. I don't like it. Okay. That was the funny thing, actually. People were always like, I can't surf, right? No, no, no. Running on empty, I know fuck about cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's good acting. Good? Yeah, there's a sharp end of the blind end, isn't it? I thought you said you weren't good on a microphone. I thought you said you weren't good on a microphone. <laughs> I'm, I'm sounding like Darren Lockyer at the moment. It's <laughs> been a really good game. That's how good this That's weekend's like been. I've got to tell you, I've talked to a lot of people. <laughs> it's uh, been great. That's the thing. There's not been an arsehole this whole weekend. I, I swear, everyone's been fantastic. Everybody, everybody. Russell was the first person I met. Black HQ, I know that much. Russell Solper, the guy I gave the award to for being the biggest tit rat or Mr. Festival, whatever it was. Now, you're saying tit rat? Boy, what, rat? Who was that day? Tit rat. You, you, you know, it's a cobra. Never thing. Never to us, you're a tit rat. You're Say it again, I haven't got a smell the whole weekend. Is it tit or tit? Tango, India, Papa, Romeo, Alpha, Tango. Jerry gets it, you're the spots, you're yeah. the spots. <laughs> so, mate, English, English is my second language, 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 eh? English is second language, yeah, better yeah, for sure, for sure. So walking in the street with Jeff Rowe, and you sort of kind of go, like, no, mate, not yet, it's not much time, we're not going to the pub, hang on. Yeah, And then right. MI had it, where's Peter? Please keep it down, guys at the back, guys at the back, please keep it down, thank you. Righto. Or whatever story you're telling right now isn't as good as this one. Okay. You're, you're, you, you, Jerry even said it the other day when we were having a few beers. I was having beers with Jerry and Jeff and I was geeking out like, this is cool. Anyway, we had a few beers and Jerry and I were trying to work out, Beauty Blues was a great movie, really cool movie. It was a stinker, you Shut lying up. son of a bitch. <laughs> no, shut up. Ladies and gentlemen. My absolute pleasure to introduce to you Terry Sirone of Typhoon Band. Enjoy your night. Thank you for being part of the festival. We love you all. Have a great night.